Yo, what's going on guys? It's Josh Gavin here, otherwise sometimes known as That Offer Kid. Um, and today I'm gonna to be talking about an answering a question that I get asked on almost every single one of the offer buildouts I do. Now on average, I mean, we're doing about six to 10 offer buildouts, uh, consulting every single week. So I hear a lot of questions. I build out a lot of offers in different markets and I hear a lot of common questions. And when I hear a common question from you know, dozens of people every single month, I know it's a question that more than they are just asking, right? I know it's a market issue and something that I want to address. And so for anyone who's watched this, who's been on one of these build outs that's asked this question, uh, this isn't to call you out, it's to save other people from asking that same question and that limitation, something can launch their offers faster and easier, all right? So on these calls, you know, we do a lot of different things. We're talking about, you know, okay, what product should we wear? We I build out exactly what the upsell should be. I say, hey, here's the order bump here, right? We architect it up front to back, the ascension, what the back end offer should be, how that should be structured, blah, 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 right? But the question I always hear over and over again, as I'm architecting out the order bumps or the, the you know, upsells, the front end product, people always ask me, they're always like, Josh, uh, should that be a book? Should that be templates? Uh, how would I, how do I teach that? Is it, is it this? Is it a masterclass? Is it a call? Blah, blah, blah. They always ask me that, right? How should I f deliver, you know, this order bump and this upsell? And I always tell them, like, here's the thing. It doesn't matter as long as whatever you give them gets them the result you're promising, right? I don't care if you deliver something on a, a CD in the mail that takes 10 days to get there. If they watch that CD and they get the result that you promised them in the funnel, do you think they're going to complain? No, I mean, now, of course, CD, for example, with the delivery time of that, you may have some buyer remorse, you wouldn't do that, but I, it's an extreme example, but it's to prove a point that people are paying because they want to get, you know, what you're promising them, right? So they want to feel better in that. So when you're sitting down, you're mapping out, oh, what's my work bumps be? What should my upsells? It's like, dude, okay, what, how do you want, you look at it first, like, how do you personally like to create content? Do you like written word? Do you like doing video? Do you like doing live? Whatever it is, one-on-one -on -one calls, I don't care what it is. Just do it the way that you can best fulfill it at scale that your customers will enjoy and be fine with. Now, of course, I'm gonna have some of you people on here, some of you marketers be like, well, Josh, like the age demographic, and there's a better way, and it's like, okay, yes, of course. Like in some markets, you know, maybe giving them, you know, giving an older person a video course or some technological hardware from the watch it would be hard. Or sure, maybe giving a younger audience a written book, they're not gonna sit down and read it because their attention span is weak. But if that question is stopping you from launching an offer, then I need you to forget about it and stop getting technical. Because so many times, and this is something I have to continue to stress, because I understand, I did the same thing, right? I, when I first launched my first info offer, I was 16 years old, all right? I had so many living team beliefs, but I know for you guys, I mean, you're not that young and that inexperienced as I am now, right? But still, there's these questions and these uncertainties that stop you from launching. And so I, I like to come live and just tell you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have plenty of offers where we didn't look into how exactly do we need to deliver this uh, order bump. It doesn't matter. Like, the order, we, we sold it to them, we told them the outcome would get them, and if they watch and go through it, they'll get the outcome, right? So that's all that matters. So if you aren't launching your offer because you weren't sure how to package and deliver your OTO, your order bump, your final product, then, you know, hey, just know it's okay. Now, if you want to go back and watch the last live stream I did, the recording of it, I talk about how I personally like to do master classes in front of product, and I talk about the reason for that. And so, yes, there are good ways and strategic ways to deliver content, but I'm here to just address and let you know that's okay. All right, it's gonna be okay. You don't need to have it perfect. There's no secret way. There's no secret strategy. If you were to hop on a call, one of these offer build out calls with me, and and ask me the same question, that's what I'd tell you. I would tell you the same thing. And so let me save you from that. Let me free things up. Let me make things easier on you and tell you that's gonna be okay. It's fine. You can launch it how it is. It's going to be okay, all right? Um, I mean, for example, one of the offers I did, you know, when we launched it, it was like this ugly ClickFunnels 1.0 page. We had like a video on there. Right below was just like an order form right there with like a yellow button. It's like pay $27 and that's all. And it was like this video, this terrible headline, I can share it sometime. And then they log in and it's like this crappy ClickFunnels members area with some Google Docs. 
And people loved it. <laughs> they loved it. They were like, praise the Lord. There's no fluff. There's no mindset section. I, tell you, I just want the process, right? And so we, I, right when I saw that, I was like, dude, I'm never not launching an offer because I don't have the perfect way to deliver it, right? So, hey, if that's stopping you, don't let it. Just launch your offer. It's time. You, you're, I know a lot of you guys watching this, you talk about it, you're thinking about it, you see other people doing it, you dream about it, you come with all these offer ideas when, when you're in the shower, sitting on the toilet, in the car, wherever it is, you plan them out, you tell people, yeah, I'm gonna launch this offer, I'm launch this offer, and you never do. And I promise you, 90% of the time, and I know this because, like I said, we're doing six to 10 of these calls a week, 90% of the time, it's simple things like this, simple questions that you have that are, you know, the answer doesn't matter and how you do it specifically doesn't matter. So just launch it, it's gonna be good. Um, if you want to know how to launch your offer, you're like, well Josh, how to just launch it? Hey, man, go watch my other, uh, watch a video on how to talk about how to launch your offer organically. If you're like, how do I put my front end product together? Go watch another live stream I did on, hey, here's how to do a master class. Um, if you're, you know, stuck on like mindset, Go watch the Marketers Roundtable or Offer Owner Roundtable you do with Daniel Neve, Ben Valentin, all those things, right? If you want more techno stuff, oh, how do I learn the marketing? Do what I did, enjoy Nothing Held Back Plus. $500 a month, it's better than going and paying a guru uh, who's just in that same program, reteaching the same stuff for way more, okay? So there's plenty of options, you have choice, there's so many ways you can do this. And remember, yeah, it's like, you have way more experience and access to information than I did when I was 16 years old when I launched my first info offer. Um, so if I could do it then, you can do it now with everything that's out there and available to you, all right? So I just wanna come on quickly and share it. Normally I only go live on Wednesdays, but man, when there's things that are being asked commonly on these $500 offer build-outs I do, uh, I always like to just come bring it to the market so you never have to ask it or wonder about it ever again, all right? So if this was valuable, if you liked it at all, just let me know in the comments, that'd be awesome. If you wanna leave a like, there's no pressure, but it'd be cool. Uh, we'd love more people to see this so they don't stop themselves from launching an offer. And if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook, all right? If you have any questions, let me know. And if you're interested in booking one of these offer build-outs, um, you can try to reach out to me and see if there's still spots open. I think we're already booked out to like the middle of February, so you'll just have to look at my calendar and see. Uh, but just know that's an option in the future if you're already stuck, all right? So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for following along, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.